Longevity is one of the latest health and fitness companies that has joined the CBD craze. I had a chance to speak with the company when they were ringing the bell at the NASDAQ. When it comes to CBD in particular right now, there is, there is so much out there. There are so many stories about CBD. And what we're finding is that quality, traceability, and sourcing, as well as extraction are some of the biggest issues right now where products are not coming back clean, products are coming back hot. Uh, two le high levels of THC. So what I think when we saw the opportunity of longevity, we were very much about the fact that we knew that we could be a true vertical. We could be growing, we could be extracting, we could be making sure the product is having a 100% traceability from seed to shelf, knowing that absolutely the product was gonna be clean, efficacious, and most importantly, work. So longevity's CBD products are different in the most important way, traceability. We know exactly where the products are grown, we know how they are harvested, we know how they're extracted, and we know when they make it from extraction into the form, whether it be a tincture, a gel cap, a topical, we know that 100% the vertical has been traced from beginning to consumer. And I think that's the biggest challenge today, and Longevity is doing their very best to make sure we can be the leader in the industry to bring credibility for an incredibly powerful product, a very powerful ingredient, but only when it's sourced with an efficacious, laudable fashion. And it just seems like it's really been making a difference in a lot of people's lives and uh, since we're totally THC free and the CBD products that they have are all hemp derived and very high quality, well figured out and well uh, researched and marketed and, and so it's just something that's very 2020. I want to be connected to a company that has a high quality you know, high bar. And everything I've ever seen through Longevity has made a big difference in like the health of a lot of people. So we went, uh, we made a decision shortly after putting the two companies together in July of 11 to go field to cup in coffee. We own a thousand acres in the Nicaraguan rainforest. We grow our own coffee. It's a fully sustainable coffee business, literally in the middle of the rainforest. So we grow coffee from a seed. We process coffee in Nicaragua. We ship it to our uh, roasting operation in Miami, Florida, and then we put it on shelf with our own brands or private label. So literally from field to cup. And that took us about four and a half years to make that dream come true. And uh, this past year, our coffee business grew over 100%. The model kicked in and we went over 50 million in revenue. We saw what was going on in CBD and in the hemp space, and we felt what we did in coffee in four and a half years, we could do in CBD and hemp in 18 months which I know sounds like a very aggressive plan, but when you think about 5,000 pounds of coffee selling for $5,000 and one liter of hemp oil selling for $5,000, just from a scalability standpoint, it was gonna be much, much easier. The other thing is hemp-derived products is a blue ocean. In the coffee business, you're taking business from someone else. It's been around 100 years. This is a new green, you know, blue ocean business, so grabbing business and growing it is much, much easier to grow. And where are you getting your hemp from? How are you sourcing it? So what we do is we are a full-blown equipment company, first of all. That was the roots of the company. We acquired a company, Presos Industries, in February of, of uh, last year, actually now. And so we acquired that company, and they developed every type of equipment for the hemp space, literally focused on hemp, from extraction to post-processing to finished goods. So we acquired that company, and rather than just let it be an equipment sales company, we decided to put that equipment into action, our own equipment. It would make our equipment better because we were using it and then ultimately we get back to equipment sales. What we did is we took the extraction equipment and we made partnerships at the farm level. So the farmers use their expertise at the farm and we put our extraction systems that stay on our balance sheet at their farm level. So they're doing the grow, we're doing the testing and then we extract the oil out of that. We then ship that oil to our post-processing center, 82,000 square foot facility in Orlando, Florida, where we then finish the process and make all the ingredients you can possibly make to make a hemp product and a number of the most popular finished goods. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from the NASDAQ Market Site.